morning. How y'all doing this morning? Uh, Papa Jane again. I want to talk to y'all about something about uh, these little things here, these smoke detectors. These things are, will save you life, you know. Yeah, I think everybody has one, two, or whatever, how many you need in your house. Now, I've got your little diagram here, if y'all can read. Don't make fun of my house. But uh, first, first I want to talk to you about it. The, if you live in a house like I do, it's, it's over 15 years old. And so it only has a black wire and a white wire and a ground in it, in that box. Well, black to black, white to white. And we'll talk about this red one here in a minute. Can you see that red one right here? Well, the ground wire just don't have nothing to do with this. You don't have nothing to hook it up to. Um, that's that's the, about 15 years old and older. That's the ones I'm talking about. Just white to white, black to black. That's cut and dry. Then you have yeah, you have a battery back up. Y'all can see that battery right here. This is a little nine volt battery, it's a little square one. And uh, that's what backs up if your power goes off well, then your your battery will pick up on it and you know then it continues doing its job. But uh every now and then it says once a week. Well, I don't check mine once a week. A lot of people wait till they start hearing this beep, you know, out of just every now and then, a little old chirp. That means your battery's going dead. So you want to change that battery out about once a year at least. But and then you're supposed to check them. Excuse me. Pardon me for uh, hurting your ears. That's how you check. Them, make sure they work. See. Okay. Now this red wire. I will explain that to you in a minute. Okay. Now the 15-year-old houses and older. They, uh, they're wired totally different. They're just coming off of a plug over here and the way they run their circuit. They hit a plug, they hit the smoke detector up here, then they'll go down to another plug and continue on about the circuit. Well, that's why you only use these two black and white, this black and white. Now, the newer houses, you'll have a black and white and a red, and it'll be on its own circuit by itself. All the smoke detectors is just on the circuit by themselves. Uh, safety features, I guess. But if you do have a black, white, or red, that's where that red wire comes in. What that does is if you have a fire in any room in the house, let me show you real quick. This is your panel right here. Okay, now the little line has got these X's on it as a circuit. They run that three wire, which, you know, that's what I'm talking about, red, black, and white. You don't count the ground. They'll run it up to a smoke detector. Then they'll run it up to another smoke detector, another smoke detector, another smoke detector, another smoke detector. And that's all that's going to be on that circuit. Now, if you have a fire in any of these rooms and it goes off, all of them go off. That way, you know, if you have a fire in this bedroom, and you're over here in this bedroom, this one here is going to go off and you'll know there's a fire somewhere. You know, to get the hell out, you know? So, that's what that's designed for, this little red wire. It's a continuous thing and then it makes all of them go off. And trust me, I've been in the houses before where one of them went off and man, you'll know it. Because it's loud. Well, especially with all of them, you just heard this one go off. And they are allowed, and they just, they don't just beep, you know, they'll go off and then they'll raise all kind of cane. So, that's the newer ones, you know. I want to say if it's the older ones, you know, we got, I don't know, three or four of them in the trailer I'm living in. And they're all just like this, that's why it's capped off, you know, because you don't, you don't even need it. But, these are really important, folks. 
these uh, will save your life. And that battery is really important too. You gotta really stay up on top of that. Uh, you know, I mean, if your power does go off and you rummaging through the house and all of a sudden fire breaks out, it's still going to work if the battery's good. If the battery's dead, well, you'll know it. But uh, that's what this is. Um, like I say, just, man, say springtime. You know, that's a good time to do it. That way you'll know. First day of spring. Let's just mark it on a calendar or just remember. Go through, and these batteries are pretty cheap. Just buy a whole sack full of them and go through and replace all of them, whether it needs or not. If they're good, uh, and you don't have to just put it in your kids' games or something, you know. Uh, show you an easy way to check these. There's no button on these things, so you don't have to see if they're good. Stick it to your tongue. It's going to bite you. <laughs> you want to do it again? Huh. <clears throat> that tells you it's good. If you don't get nothing, it's bad. It's simple. But, anyhow, that's, that's uh, what these are for. <clears throat> I thought it might be a good little thing to know, you know. It's, uh, anything that will save your life is a good thing to know. So, uh, I hope you learned something, you know, on this deal, because it's real important now. You know, I can't, I can't stress on how important that is. Uh, especially older houses, you know, I mean, you know, old trailer houses like mine. Uh, I'm sure everybody everybody knows, you know, I mean, if a trailer house starts on fire, you better get get on down the road because it goes up quick. Uh, and I mean, houses do too, but not like a trailer house. Uh, so the best thing to do is just grab your medicine if you take medicine and grab your kids and dogs and go, you know. Uh, of course they tell you, you know, that gather the family up and tell everybody, well look, if something happens, let's have a designated spot to meet, you know. That way you don't have to be running through the house looking for everything and everybody. And uh, the dogs, they'll, uh, that's a member of your family, you know, I mean, but uh, they'll, They'll know something's wrong, you know. And you, a lot of times, the dogs be the ones waking you up, telling you something's wrong. Let's go, you know, get out of here, man. It don't burn up. So take care of your pets, you know. You know kids and grandkids, whoever, whoever's in the house, you know. Gather everybody up and get on outside and, you know, grab your cell phone on the way out and call the fire department because that's about all you can do. You know, you can water hose it down. I wouldn't suggest that, you know, using a water house on a burning house because of the fact you got a fire, well, it's going to burn through some wires, man, they might not short out right away. You stand there with a water hose spraying in there, water is a good conductive of electricity, and that electricity is going to come straight down through that water hose and it's going to fry you. So I wouldn't suggest that. Just Get on outside and call the fire department and let them handle it. You know, so first thing they do is they turn that main off, you know, after break. So anyway, I hope y'all learned something on this video. Uh, I think that's about it. Except I need to learn how to be a, a, an artist. I understand that. That's a good. I never claimed to be an artist. But uh hope y'all learned something on this video. And uh if you would, just hit that subscribe button and tell your friends. Hey man, this old man, he teaches a little bit and then he acts a fool. So, you know, everybody hit that subscribe button for me. All right? We all have a good day and uh, I'm out of here. Bye.